Hello, everybody, and welcome to Shades of Suffering, episode three of our Scarlet Keys Gauntlet. We're here, uh, and I think I did set up right. Flint traveled to Kuala Lumpur, which means that he rejoined the cell, which means that he is going to be in play. I put him in Lily's deck. He doesn't take up an ally slot today. And then I did everything else. We have three resources on Shade Reaper. I forget what that does, but hopefully it's good. Okay. The city buzzes with spiritual activity. Empty halls resound with footsteps, phantom knocks, voiceless whispers. Some deep pain in this city longs to be known. A world, a wordless dread fills the silence and pervades every moment. Three doom advances. The lady with the red parasol. The figure holding a red parasol melts into the bustle of the city, but is she aware of your presence? If you can track her or her destination, you may better understand her aims in Kuala Lumpur. Find Su Sun Yang before the sun agenda advances. When you engage uh, her, investigators must spend their extra clues as a group to advance if they cannot return to the shadows and resolve her concealed keyword. I have played this one before, yeah, once. Once you've defeated instead, heal all damage from her, remove all doom from play, return to the shadows, and resolve her concealed keyword, distributing each of those concealed mini cards as evenly as possible among each location with a non weakness geist enemy. Okay. I mean, that's nice. Turning the fails into success, into card draw. Okay. Okay. I'm a little bit scared. We did not collect resources during the upkeep phase. Spend two resources, parlay. You enjoy a pleasant meal and drinks. Heal one damage and one horror from an investigator ally as your asset of your location. And we need two clues to advance. Luckily, that's the Rex Murphy special. Okay. So we need to get two clues and we have to engage her. Okay, we can do that. We just got to get two clues and then find her. <clears throat> uh, I think I'm going to kill these cards and kiss, stay with the rest. Okay. And I think it's pretty similar. We'll go like that. <laughs> There's all my weapons. <laughs> Making up for last episode's start for sure. On Lily's side. Lily is kind of like, uh, she's compensating for sure. <clears throat> compensating for sure. Okay, well, Rex is going to go first. We're going to play Dr. Milan. And I'll investigate at five to two. We fail. We'll go five to two again. We failed by one. Okay. Yeah, I forgot how hard cultists go in this campaign. I mean, that was just our setup turn. Play a runic X. I think I'm going to gain a resource and draw a card. Okay. And we go upkeep, but we don't gain any resources here. Oh, that's a good draw. <clears throat> All right. One of three. Let's see what our first evil card is. Place one charge in the Shade Reaper. Test bring three. Six instead if there are eight or more charges on. If you fail, you must either discard a card from your hand for each one you fail by or take two damage. Okay. That's interesting. So is Scarlet Keys the response to playing Earthborn Rangers? I have no idea what you're talking about, unfortunately. Okay. I'll go five to three. We'll use our um, higher ed to save our higher ed. Nice. And Lily has got... Each investigator takes damage or horror. She shifts it, then plays two charge in on it. We'll take a damage and a horror. Flint, my man. <laughs> All right. 
Uh, give me an investigate. We're going to go seven to two. Nice. Grab two clues. Get a resource. Feels like MJ played Earthborn Rangers and wanted to make an Arkham Vision. I don't think so. No, this is not I don't, I don't think that at all. They're very different games, very different styles. It's a good get. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna... Sorry, we get a resource. I'm gonna move in here. Yeah, just... Yeah, it's one of those things, yeah, just parallel development. It happens all the time. Uh, I'll investigate five to three. What's the worst that's going to happen? I fail? Huh. Yeah, as a matter of fact, it is. All right. I'm going to move in here. And we're going to attack this at seven to three. Cool. Oh, shit, it's her. What the fuck? I wasn't expecting her that early. Oh, God, no. <laughs> okay. Oh, ooh, no one panic. No one panic. It's all good. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Alright, what do we got? Uh, we'll spend the clues to advance. After what feels like hours of searching, actually what feels like 6 minutes and 25 seconds of searching, you catch the trail of the lady with the red parasol. You follow her down a narrow side street to the worn facade of an old shop, which she steps inside. Uncertain of the risk she might pose, you wait for her to emerge rather than her uh, into her potential trap. However, some time passes, you grow impatient and step into the shop. Put the set-aside Malati shop location to play and reveal it. Disengage each investigator from each enemy, engage with them, and move each investigator to the shop. So you're just hanging out here, huh? <clears throat> you know, I think we're just going to leave that over there. Lily, you took a clue with you. The clues, remember that you peered beyond, look at the revealed side of a concealed mini card or the other side of a geist enemy in play. Okay. Alright, read the interlude. <clears throat> Get to the bottom of this, so to normal four. So those are your three epicenters of spiritual disturbances. Put the tin mine and the Wyong Kulit theater locations into play. Find the three set aside geist enemies and spawn them as follows. Spawn the, sla spawn the slain foreman of the Kuala Lumpur station west wing. The Uncanny Shadow at the theater. Now let me guess, this guy at the mine? Oh yeah, and then we put her with the... Remove all doom from each card in play other than Susa and Yang. If it's general one, advance directly to... Oh, okay, so I lost two turns. That's fine. <laughs> uh, do not resolve the other side, though. Is that what it said? Okay. The sense that you're not alone grows, and the spirit's wordless screams fill your mind, and only, f and only fog <coughs> rolls in to choke the streets of Kuala Lumpur into the ghostly aura. There's only one investigator in the game. This agenda gets plus one doom threshold. When you engage her, investigators must spend player clues that they cannot draw the top card in counter deck instead. Woo! Okay. <clears throat> when this agenda advances, Su San Yang will harvest a nearby spirit. Her location is unknown. Okay. 
Milani spoke of the great suffering Su Sun Yang has brought to the city, perhaps by entreating the spirits and laying them to rest. You can stop her from reaping the pain she has sown. Geist enemies cannot leave haunted locations. Okay. Quell the restless spirits before they are consumed by Su Sun Yang. At the end of the round, if there are no non-weakness Geist enemies in play, we advance. <clears throat> okay. <sighs> what, we move in here for our last action as Louie? Traded for a kitten. Right. Yeah, we gotta do shit for these for the spirits. Okay, upkeep. Okay. Yeah, six health, seven health, six health. They're big boys. And then when you resolve the text on the other side, they flip back. Yeah, this is the mechanic that I uh, is my least favorite. In, well, yeah, it's one of my least favorites in Arkham. Yeah, Trader for a Kitten. You mean Russell? Okay, well, let's uh, do some evil cards. A Rotting Remains, huh? Give me five to three. Whoo, Rex, close call, scary card. Frozen in fear, yeah, it checks out. There's ghosts here. <laughs> yeah, there's ghosts, okay. So how do we maneuver this? I think this scenario gets quite better if you spoil everything that can happen and know exactly what to do. Yeah, so like if you know the quest on each of them, is that what you're saying? Because I do also know that it is better if you just kind of like wait out for the boss battle, right? You just hunker down and get ready to fight Su San Yang one last time. I mean, knowing the possible options for each ghost. Yeah, no, that's what I mean. Yeah, like, if you know, like, what you're hunting for. Because, like, we could do something to grab a kitten, and it's just, like, not what you need, right? Rex is going to hop in here. And we're going to investigate. I'm going to go 7 to 3. I'm going to commit this because I don't think I want to play it. I think I want to get one of my assets out. 7 to 3. Nice. We'll grab two clues. Grab a money. Yeah, because that's the problem, right? Because we move into these locations with the ghosts, but the ghosts are just there. Yeah, we'll know what they each want, but then they're going to still flip back over and attack us, right? No, we haven't done cricket failure. I believe they exhaust. I mean, that would be kind of sick.
Okay. I mean, I want to get Grim Memoir out next turn. I think I'm going to just grab a resource for my last action. I'm going to pull out this Premonition. I like what I see here. I like what I, I like what I'm seeing. I like what I'm seeing. All right. We're going to spend two resources. Did we reveal something? No, we haven't done this. I'm going to move up here with this ability. First time you perform one of the following actions. I don't think I'm performing the action here, so I don't think it spends me a resource, but I could be wrong. Someone can let me know, but I don't think it does. Test foot six. Investigators may succeed, may spend player clues. If you succeed, remember that you've... Draw two cards, remember that you've found hidden bones. After you fail a skill test, while tin mine, take a damage. Okay. I'm going to parlay with this guy. And uh, we're going to do the fist. We're going to parlay with him. And we're just going to draw this Elder Sign token. All right, let's see what's on the back of this guy's other side. Warm, heavy rain begins to fall as you traverse the treacherous walkways. The moans of the departed echo in the dim. Melody... Melody holds one hand to her forehead and puts the other on the chiseled rock. If an investigator's found a cheap memento... Okay. Okay, a cheap memento. That could be at the theater. That could be at the station. But at least we have a plan for that. And then I think we can move over here, which will cost us two more actions. I mean, we could fight the location. No, that'll be two as well. It's just if an investigator's... If an investigator has found a cheap memento. Okay. So, one second. We're still here. What happens if I try to fight Su San Yang? It gives me more time. Try to, like, s s give, give more time with that. Stay here with the Buried Miner. Found hidden bones. Yeah, I think we do just leave. And, like, we aim to, like, maybe, best case scenario, save one of them. Anyway, I'm going to do this Torn of Power, and we're going to spend two charges off of this Runic Axe. So we're going to get plus five, so we're going to go eight to three. There's, what, four? All right, cool. Then we can go upkeep. Open gate's nice. Two of three. Evil card over here. I have to fail a skill test while location with a concealed mini card take a horror. Okay, that's not too scary right now. Okay. <laughs> You're just a guy. You're just a guy. You're just like me. You're just a guy. A cheap memento. Okay, so we can go look at another one. As Rex. Rex could hop over here, do that. Where would I get a cheap memento? From the station? Probably the station, right? Hidden bones are in the mine. That makes sense. Kitten? So it's probably at the station over here. Can I evade that motherfucker? Probably not. 
And I think that's the issue, right? Oh, okay. Lily could... What does this guy do? He just... At this location, cannot be exposed. Yeah, I think the Chi Memendia yeah, does seem like the kind of thing that we could just find. Uh, yeah, just over here. I don't think it would be at the theater. I think the theater would be different than that. Man, this gets really helpful too. Once you know. Because there's only two of each of them. Um, I don't want the, I don't want anything. I, I'm doing this myself. This is only my second time playing this scenario. I don't want anything. I do think I need more, um, information. So I think Rex is going to go here. We're going to spend two of our clues. And I want to look at what you got cooking. Shared a deep pain. That's definitely at a theater. <laughs> A paint howls, echoes through the station as the shade bears down on you. A bleeding ethereal blood and clutching its side, Melody holds up one hand to stop you. The spirit is in great distress for a loss, she says. It'll only spawn to one who is shared in its anguish. Yeah, that sounds like a theater show if I've ever been there. Shared a deep pain. That's not happened at Kuala Lumpur Station West Wing. I'll tell you that much right now. All right, I think we're just going to then move back in here yeah okay is she showing up next turn she is okay so we got deep pain and we got a cheap memento I think Lily is going to move in here. Okay, we need to spend player clues as a group. Okay. So we can do that on this location. What's Lily going to do? Is she just going to start attacking this guy? I think so, right? Let's runic axe it up. He has four. We're at seven. Honestly, I think I'm actually going to just use one charge, and we're just going to go power. We're going to go 7 to 4. Nice, 2 damage. And then give me 7 to 4 again. No retaliate. He's just a guy. Reveal an additional token. Uh, it's minus 3. That'll be another 2 damage. So we lose on one patient. Uh, yeah, I don't see an alternative with my ability to... <laughs> Get Susang Nyan right now. Awesome. Alright, we're gonna move this guy down here, I think. And then we'll go upkeep. Sorry, this guy's gonna ding us. Upkeep. Beat cop, baby. Alright. Uh, reveal conceal mini cards in play and set each decoy aside. Oh god, she's here! Oh, I see what's going to happen. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, swap the Susan Young enemy with her concealed mini card. Place each non at her location face down beneath her. Then place four charges on the Shape Reaper. Oh my god, she's getting... She's feasting! Girl is hungry! Um, place each non at her location face down beneath her. You. I'm just going to put that over here. Oh, no, sorry, it's you. No, the one I knew! <laughs> the miner! We don't need the cheap memento anymore! Okay, so we want to do the shared pain then. Okay. Might be time for one of those number buttons you have for shade reaper charges. I can't use the number buttons! <laughs> oh, those number- oh, I see the big number buttons. I thought I talked about the numlock buttons, and I was like, I can't use those! Yeah, I can use this. We can go eight. It's easier for people to see at home, too. Let's do that. 
Yeah, we can do that. That's no problem. Numpad, though? There you go, for chat. Okay. Um, each non-weakness geist enemy. There are no non-advanced act to be. Otherwise, return to the shadows and resolve her concealed keyword. Right. Yeah, okay. Okay. Let's get some evil cards. Now perform the same type of action twice in a row. No problem. I'm not even going to perform a single action once in a row. This one, Doom on Nasty Control with the highest burning cost. If no Doom is placed by this effect. All right, we'll put the Doom on this then. Okay. How bad is that? So our skulls are now minus four. All right, well, I think Rex is going to move in here. Spend player clues as a group, heal to damage. Remember that you shared in a deep pain. As half. Okay, so it's a force round location. Okay. Yeah, that's only minus four. It can only go to, it can go to minus six. Not terrible. All right, we're going to take an attack of opportunity. To investigate. And we have this. So I have 8, 10, 12. No, I can just do 10. We're going to go 10. Uh, no, I'm going to go to 12. We're going to go 12 to the game's four. There's a minus one over there. There's the minus one, draw another. Minus four, perfect. We'll grab two clues. We're getting attacked a bunch here, but it's going to be worth it. So we're going to get attacked again. But we're going to spend our two clues to remember that we shared a deep pain. We also get to heal two damage. Oh, and I have to test this brain test. Oh, got a good money. All right, I'll go five to three. Yeah, I'll put a charge on this. The deep pain is from all those AOE, uh, AOs, yeah? Oh, hell yeah, 100%. All right, we'll treat that as a zero. All right, Lily, let's attack this guy. He has, what, three health left? So I will spend... We'll go seven... Eight? We'll go eight to four? Nice, two damage. I'll spend two more charges... I can just spend one charge, actually, to go um, 9 to 4. Yep. Get him out of here! All right, a pain hell echoes through the station as the shade bears down on you, bleeding ethereal blood and clutching its side. Melody holds up one of her hands. The spirit is in great stress for a loss, she says, if it will only respond to one who has shared in its anguish. If an investigator has shared a deep pain, read the following. Malati prepares a ritual of banishment as you stare into the spirit's eyes. While the Bomo chants, you feel a ripple of pain resonate in your mind, and for a moment you glimpse a memory from the rail worker's life. Them holding a sledgehammer as a shadowy figure stood above them, smiling cruelly. A sudden blur of motion followed by an awful screech as the memory fades, so too does the spirit. Add this card to the victory display. We did it. Chat, we got one of the spirits. What do I have to do to talk to you? Discard cards from your hand at random. I can maybe talk to you. Do you want a kitten? Dude, I might go buy a kitten just to buy a kitten. Alright, what do we think the spirit wants? I 
I mean, if we buy a kitten, we have two potential hits, right? Yes, and yeah, if she's here, which she has a 66% chance of being here, she won't absorb a spirit. Hey, what are you doing over here, lady? Get back in the shadows. Okay. Oh, I should have done glory. You know what? I should have. But I didn't, so I'm not going to take the opportunity. Yeah, I'm going to move here, I think. And then we'll get attacked in the enemy phase, and we'll go upkeep. All right, two of three. Ooh, that's not great. That is not a great draw. It's not great either, but I'll take it. I'll go four to three, just try to soften the blow. I mean, I, you know what? I'm going to go six to three. Yeah, I'll take a horror. That's okay. Oh, Flint! Okay. So this is going to sound a bit crazy, but I think I sell my Runic Axe to buy a Kitten. So discard an asset you control from play and gain resources printed to half the card discarded cost's assets. So we're going to go two resources... But we're going to remember that we traded for a kitten. Uh, and then I think I'm going to play some we weapon. <laughs> I need another weapon. This is still a level zero beat cop. I have one action left. I think we move in here. Yes. All right, let's see if Rex has to get rid of this compulsion. He doesn't, okay. Well, I'm gonna parlay with you. So we discard Three cards at random. Get rid of those. Uh, and then we're going five to three. I'm going to go seven, eight to three. To parlay with you. Nice. <gasps> Let's go! Yes, chat! Yes! The theater fills with cacophonous laughter as a spindly shape on the paper screen grows menacing. Melody strides to war forward, her voice firm. I know that you are restless, she says, but you have nothing to fear from us, she intones a low chant in Malay. The investigators have peered beyond. Read the following. Flip this card back over. Uh, sorry, yeah, um, read the following. It is the spirit of a girl. She watched many stories unfold in this very theater, says Melody. The shadow on the screen forms a hungry smile filled with sharp teeth that turns to a fearful frown. She is loath to uh, let go of this place if she does not know if her story will continue. As Melody translates, you assure that the spirit that, have, uh, that you have looked beyond the veil and she can leave this plane of existence. As the hoary shadows dissipate, you feel a coldness as you reflect on what you saw and didn't see in the beyond. What is wrong to what is wrong to reassure? Add this card to the victory display. Do 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 do. Two spirits. Two spirits. Okay. Um. At the end of the round, if there are no non-weakness geist enemies in play, we advance. Okay. And then what, we just get rid of Compulsion, I think? I think that's a pretty alright idea. And then we go Upkeep. Oh, shit. <laughs> Good thing we didn't have that earlier. Alright, Advance.
Steed figure emerges from the yellow haze. Su Sung Nyan smirks. She twirls a parasol overhead. What is it? You're still thirsty, she coos, speaking to something you can't see. They're ready to harvest. The parasol in her hand glows with a strange energy. The lead investigator exposes all concealed mini cards. She was here. Flipper to her out for blood side. She has eight health. Oh, okay, 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 okay. That's real. Heal all damage from her. She engages the lead investigator. So she's going to be over here. Okay. Okay. All right, it's gonna be spicy. It's gonna be a spicy meatball for sure. Advance directly to agenda three A. Okay. Susan Young smiles sweetly. Sorry, was I supposed to grab one? Let's get her exposed up to many cards, flip to her outside, and heal damage from her. She engages the lead investigator, advanced agenda directly to agenda 3A. Okay. Hunter and retaliate cannot be flipped over. Smiles freely as she bears down on you. Behind her, a massive shadow moves of its own accord, writhing in fulminant, fulminant patterns on the wall. This will be quick, she coos. Each Geist enemy and hunter uh, against Hunter and Retaliate cannot be flipped over. When Doom is placed on this agenda, remove one Geist enemy from beneath Su San Yang and spawn a face up at her location. When you're damaging or horror from her forced effect. Whew, whew. Uh, I'm in hell? Sorry. We're at one. Okay, what do we got? Frozen and fear, yeah, that checks out, Rex. <laughs> that makes sense, my brother. Okay. Each geist enemy. I mean, honestly, I'm having an all right time with it right now. Okay, how do you do this? When you succeeded a skill test while attempting to fight or evade, remove one charge for each point you succeeded by. Take damage and a horror equal to the number of charges removed. Divide it as evenly as possible. So we have to start with compulsion. We're okay on that. We're going to play Beat Cop. We're going to engage and we're going to war. We're going to attack with this. So we have eight to two. Gotta spawn the guy. Where does that happen? I was reading that. The agenda. The agenda spawns the geist. Ah, okay, yeah, yeah, on the, the forced effect. Yes, okay, give me this guy. Let's give it to Rex, I think. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. All right, does that change things? Let's let's see on this. All right, well, we're going to be getting some trauma here. No, I think we just I think we just do this. Yeah, we go like this. Face up at our location. Yeah, we're just going to follow this. <clears throat> and then we're going to attack. So we have nine to two. 
minus four. So we have to remove three charges and deal three damage as evenly as possible. So we can go one, two, three. And we deal two damage to her. Okay. <clears throat> so when you see the skill doesn't identify to remove one charge for each point succeeded by take damage from horror even the number of charges removed. Okay. She has retaliate as well. Yeah, pretty nice. I got just one victory point for her. She could probably be worth two. She probably could have made two, I think. Okay. do this I don't want to try to evade this guy it seems bad because there is we also fail tests I think Rex just passes his turn we're gonna kill Dr. Milan and take a damage let me go upkeep that's a huge draw Okay. Um, there's no more Geists to draw. Oh, we have to test the Frozen Fear. Three to three. I'll spend, like, all... I'll spend four of my resources to go seven to three. All right, clear that out. All right, let's see what we got. Uh, it's going to gain Surge. There's no enemies in the shadows. This guy's just hanging out here, right? Yeah, this guy doesn't engage us. Okay. Shifts the key! Finally, we're getting this. So, um, we each lose an action. Not cash money of you, but that's life. Play. Highest printed health. Fuck, she has four. Alright, she's gonna be a bit stronger. Okay. I mean, it makes it actually we fail by succeed by less potentially. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go three to four to three. That's minus three, so we take two horror. We are gonna die. All right, well let's reveal. Let's see how this goes. Ow! Oh, okay, it's not one of those. Okay. Um, plus one damage and horror is certainly something. I'll look at the top three cards of my deck and draw one of those cards. <laughs> I'm going to grab the overpower. Okay. We're going to attack. I have nine to three. So we succeed by four. So we go one, two, three, four. We get rid of Flint. up there 
Okay. I think we attack again at eight. At eight to three. Minus four. Succeed by one. She takes two damage. I'm going to get a premonition going. Okay. Uh, B cop's going to attack her. And then Rex is going to punch. We have two. Three, four, five. She's dead. We'll take one damage. Uh, yeah, one damage. As she fires another eldritch beam of crackling light at you, you charge forward, ignoring the pain, and wrest the parasol from her grip. She fights back with all the fury of a cornered animal. Countless souls are bound in the torment of the uh, key crowd at once. The woman lets out an ear-piercing scream as the red parasol is wrenched away from her. You step back, brandishing her own weapon. A hollow victory, she says haughtily. I know you don't have the nerve to use my shade against me. She turns to walk away. I'm going to shoot her with the fucking uh, Eldritch Beam Parasol. Resolution 1. A crack of energy ripples through the air between you. Power, terrible, intoxicating power. I love it! Uh, she wails and collapses to the ground, convulsed with pain. Go, you say in the voice, not entirely your own. Go somewhere far away and never return. Uh, we get victory X. We get bonus experience. We also get one physical trauma as the Shade Reaper draws essence from your soul. So we get five XP. And we get physical trauma. Each investigator, not just one, huh? It should be whoever uh, took to, to control the shade, TBH, but that's okay. We'll, 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 we'll forgive them. Um, okay. So, Susan Yang is under your sway, and we're going to mark a time. They're all holding it like Power Rangers? That makes sense. Uh, we may embark. Uh, who gets the shade? What does this even do? What's the good side of this? I've only seen the bad side. Holy shit. I'm gonna give that to Rex, I think. Okay, we may embark. Well, I will echo the number. I think this scenario would be uh, more enjoyable if, like, the spirits weren't as random and the numbers were just a bit smaller because the numbers are huge. This scenario seems like, I mean, like, the only reason we did it was because we, um, we came here early, right? Uh, this scenario, if it's like, if you come just when there's six on there, like, fuck that. You know, fuck that. No, the regular man hasn't stolen our shit yet. Did I also forget to shuffle him in here? I think I might have. Whoops. All right, we have to make sure we do that properly. That's a smack my fist. Uh, I mean, we have to resolve the Epsilon report as well, because we have to mark this one time. Or beta. We're in beta mode. Okay. When do they steal from us? Zeta. So they're going to be stealing us at the, from us at the end of the week. All right, so we got Beta. You received a gift from Taylor herself. Agents not long ago, massive explosion. We're going to add a cultist to the bag. You hate to see it. And we can now go to Tunguska. Is there a downside if we just let them, like, drag us to Tunguska? Let's clean up this mess. It's an extra cultist. Okay, that's not great. It's not terrible, but it's not great. All 
All right, we need to decide where we're going. We, we killed her. <clears throat> I can't say I enjoy this scenario, though. I can't say I enjoy it. Okay, where are we going? All right, I don't want any information about the secret ending, but how do I get the ticket? What's the what's the quickest way from here to get the ticket? Is it lot? It's like the scenario itself is too rushed. I agree. If there was a bit more breathing room, I think that scenario would be a lot more manageable. They're too far away to be worth grabbing. All right. Okay, so what if we go to Alexandria, right? We want a scenario to play. We're here to play scenarios. What if we go to Bombay and then go to Alexandria? That only costs us two time. We could also go to Havana. Havana costs us, what, three time? We can go to Havana. I do like Havana, and then we can run to San Fran and get a ticket. That's not terrible. Are there spots you've never visited? I think I've definitely visited Perth or Sydney. I'm, I, I mean, Walker of Tales, I, I appreciate it, but also at the same time, like, I'm not trying, I'm like, I'm not trying to go out of my way to get it. I'm just like trying to discover it. So like that kind of, that kind of talk doesn't really help. So can you can it with that, please? <laughs> like, I'm just trying to experience fucking Scarlet Keys. I, I, if I miss it, I don't need to know or not. Come on, like, have some, like, have, come on. Earlier, someone already said, you know? Ugh. Okay. Um. I do think, so we can go Bombay to Alexandria. I've only played Alexandria once. I've played Havana twice. I like Havana a lot. We could go over here. I also would be, I know Bermuda I've been before. And I need to, I think I need to experience again to try to crack the code. So I think we got to go to Havana and then we can kind of like check out all of this. I don't know Desi's real name, uh, real name. So we're going to have to like, you know, um, we're going to have to kind of just fuck around and find out, so to speak. So the only downside is if we go to Havana, we don't get another story before then but it does put us close to bermuda which i do want to go to we can go to yabor and then bermuda i don't think i'm going to do marrakesh this run but we also could go havana anchorage and then just check out bermuda before time is done that could be kind of like our game plan It sucks to not have Desi's real name, but I think that's just the type of guy I have to be this week. Okay. So yeah, we're gonna... What's so that be? One, two, three to go to Havana. I think I dig it. I think I dig it. I agree. It's it's nice to kind of just uh, hope that you get you get the right one. 
Can't you go to San Francisco for the same time? Uh, one, two, three. I could, but then I, I, I'm stuck between Havana and Anchorage, and now I can go like Anchorage to Bermuda, right? So go Havana, San Francisco, Anchorage, Bermuda. I think that's the line. Here, let's draw some lines on this so I can like remember. So we're gonna go, the pen's so big. The line is so big, oh my God. All right, I'm gonna just, cause I'm gonna forget this. To San Fran, to Anchorage, to Bermuda. I think that's gonna be the line we follow. I think I dig it. Okay. Well, thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed Shades of Suffering. We're, I think, uh, we'll get the secret ending one day. Um, but I mean, at least I can go to Bermuda and kind of see what's what, you know? Um, thanks for watching, everybody. Have a good one, and as always, a GG's.